so today we'll start with building a complete fitness tracker website without uh, coding anything extra for a uh, user authentication and data management stuff because we are directly using uh, apis and services provided by google developer console and these are the list of apis that is provided by google developer console so that you can access the uh, uh, google information of the current logged in user but we have directly used fitness api and people api people api for uh, accessing the username and user's profile photo and fitness api we have used uh, for accessing all the google fit information of user any user who is the uh, regular user of google fit uh, google fit application um, uh, will be saving all the data to google apis and we can fetch that data from google fit uh, itself and this is the google fit official uh, uh, official documentation where where all the list of uh, health data type provided by google fit is there blood glucose blood pressure body fat percentage body temperature cervical mucus uh, height weight menstruation and a lot of fitness information is available, is provided by this google fit and we are using uh, npm google apis package to uh, directly create our o or to uh, or to client and then uh, access all the google people information and google fitness information let's directly jump into our backend code so coming to the backend code we have directly uh, used npm install google apis to uh, install this package and using this package uh, we have uh, we have created this creds.json we have downloaded this creds.json from google developer console and once after downloading it we are destructuring all of these properties and we are creating our own or two client and once this or two client is uh, created we are we have put all the uh, list of all the scopes for which we want to uh, get the information for and um, for this scope we have directly copied the name of the scopes from uh, google fit documentation itself so we only want the read access over the data so we have used this read scope uh, itself and uh, this is something we have done for session management so once we try to log in from our react application we'll be redirected to our uh, this ordered google and uh, once being redirected we are using our auto client to generate the authentication url once that authentication url is generated we are sending it back to our react and react will be logging in using this auth url once the auth url login has been done successfully we will be generating our token and this token is being generated by auth to client and this token you can save in your session and uh, cookies as uh, as per your choice and after the login after the successful login uh, front end will be redirected to the dashboard page and from that dashboard page front end is hitting this fetch data endpoint from in this fetch data endpoint we are using this google fitness object and from this google fitness object we are just hitting the google uh, fitness api with all the information in this aggregate you can put all all the constants that you want to uh, in the form of constant we have put the time constant for which we want the data for and after putting this uh, time constant we are directly putting the name of data type for which we want the data for and this name of data type also should be exact and that can be copied that should be copied from google fit documentation itself after copying it from here we are uh, destructuring the data and formatting it in this kind of array once that have been done we are performing some type of calculation and iteration over the data available after formatting it in a complete way we are sending it back to the front and while sending we are also sending this username profile photo and user id and this uh, this information we are getting from this function uh, generate uh, get user profile and this function you can create by yourself for this function we have used google dot people object and using this google people object we can you can uh, you can mention the name of credential that you want to fetch uh, from google people api we are only trying to fetch the name of data and profile url so this is what we have uh, put here and after fetching this all the information we are destructuring and, and sending it back once this send back has been done let's try to see how the object is visible and what we are doing try uh, since this id is the active user i tried it to login and once the login has been done and the data has been fetched we are directly using react to iterate over the data you can see height weight blood pressure step count and heart rate is available for the particular user and uh, even the body fat information and step count is being visualized in the form of array uh, this is uh, you can see the data format that we are returning this is the form of data so this is the profile photo user id and name along with that this is the uh, information that is provided by google fit api uh, however this id is not the particular uh, not the regular user of google fit so we have some data only available and here we have uh, a lo lot of data information available and using this data only we have iterated over it and we have created a complete ui over it so this is the way we have created it